Hello, I'm Robin Sewell, and today we're going to talk about Fred Varley, who is the third of the group of seven members who contributed decoration to St. Anne's Church here on Gladstone Avenue in Toronto. Now, of the ten artists to work on the church, it's interesting that three of them have grown in importance over the almost 100 years since these paintings were done, while for now the others remain less well known. So J.E.H. MacDonald was the artist in charge of everything here at the church, and he was the one who assembled this mighty team of artists. Now Fred Barley uh, came from England. He was born there. He had studied art in England and in Belgium, and he was encouraged to emigrate to Canada by one of the other group of seven members. And when he arrived here in 1912, he got a job at Grip Limited. And this was the big uh, commercial art firm that did all kinds of work, both in Toronto and all across Canada. And so even though Varley wanted to work as a portrait artist, he had to supplement his income with a lot of commercial artwork. Now, when the church paintings were done, Varley was about 42. And what's interesting is that when he was asked to do the nativity scene, MacDonald had already prepared a small cartoon of his idea for the painting. And uh, we're lucky to have this. It has some of J.E.H. MacDonald's notes on it, and it even gives the scale of the drawing, that it's one quarter inch to a foot. Now, uh, it's interesting to compare. MacDonald's original idea showed a much more crowded scene, and the Virgin Mary is almost obscured by what's probably a shepherd kneeling in front of her. It's a very crowded scene. And so it's interesting to see what Barley decided to keep and what he chose to change. Now, uh, the beams in the stable are still the same, but the angels uh, have moved from a side view to a more frontal aspect. But almost everything else is different. And uh, we've already looked at the nativity scene in a previous video, and I encourage you to watch that as well. Now, uh, Varley had another contribution to the church, and it's often overlooked. So today we're going to have a good look at the prophets, which are located inside the dome. Now, most of the church reflects the New Testament, but here we see figures from the Hebrew sacred texts, which are at the root of Christianity. The first one is Moses, known as the lawgiver. He gave us the Ten Commandments. And it's interesting that uh, we have another painting of Moses here in the church. So it's easy for someone to compare the painting that Varley did with the one that J.E.H. MacDonald did. So Moses appears in the painting of the Transfiguration above the altar. Our next prophet is Isaiah. And the book of Isaiah contains many references that Christianity has taken up as pointing to Jesus, both his birth and his death. Our next Old Testament figure is Jeremiah, who wrote not only the book of Jeremiah, but also the book of Lamentations. And so other artists in the past have chosen to portray him weeping or uh, very distraught. And yet Varley has him merely with his head bent, uh, still a noble figure. Now, the fourth one is Daniel, who is traditionally shown as being very young and handsome and clever. He was carried off by King Nebuchadnezzar to Babylon. He had a gift for interpreting the king's dreams. And even though he rose to a position of great respect in Babylon, he always remained true to Jerusalem, even when jealous rivals threw him into a den of lions. These thrilling Old Testament stories remind us of the rich tradition that Jesus came from. Now, those four paintings that Varley did, they're oil on canvas, and they're quite different from the other paintings that you see in the church. Of all the artists to work on the church, Varley was the one who had the most 
uh, experience doing portraits. And so these pictures have a, a fully rendered three-dimensional quality, which is important because they're interspersed with actual plaster sculptured reliefs. And so they need to compete with that and they do very well. This concludes our look at the contributions of the three group of seven members. And so I invite you to join us for future tours. Hi, my name is Sam and we're here at the McMichael Canadian Art Collection. Uh, this is a work by F.H. Varley and this is one of my favorite works in the collection. When we look at the group of seven, we, we tend to think about wilderness, landscapes, the concept of untamed Canada, if you will. And I particularly like this painting because it's not a vision of untamed Canada. You know, there's not a tree in sight here. This is an image of the Vancouver skyline at night, and uh, it's very vibrant in color. You know, it immediately draws the eye because of the splash of the different colors. It's almost psychedelic in a way. And I like seeing it because it's not, you know, it's not cliche group of seven. It really shows the range of their work.